Dogecoin is bouncing back and forth between multiple different price points as some of the energy, let's be honest, is going away. We want to see Dogecoin continuing to have hype, continuing to have people backing it, but Elon Musk is not anywhere close to giving up on Doge. In fact, it's the exact opposite of true. He has another big plan for Dogecoin that he is working on right now, and all of us should be excited about that, even though there are people who are, who are right now trying to crash the price of Dogecoin. The banks do not want to see cryptocurrency doing well, and they will do whatever it takes to try to crash it. Luckily, though, everyone who's in the information and who knows exactly what's happening is not going to allow the silly banks to come in and bank all around until the price of Dogecoin goes down. Banks, no banking. And uh, so right now, the price of Dogecoin is at 24 cents. It's been bouncing up and, and down around 22 to that 26 rate range as we hope for that next big run. Luckily, though, Elon Musk actually understands where Dogecoin's value is and where it's going to be moving forward. Because right now, unfortunately, we only have, according to this right here, coin stats, we only have approximately 98% 98.2% of people who are on exchanges, which leaves only around 2% or so who do not have their, their Dogecoin on an exchange. If you have it on a wallet, that opens up so many more abilities for your Doge. So it's so much easier to spend it. You can send it to people, but on an exchange, it's really hard to do that, especially if it's on Robinhood. And I did a poll about this as well. Approximately 8% of our audience, which is going to be a little bit more into Dogecoin than the average Dogecoin holder is into that. And so what Elon Musk is doing right now is everything in his power to make sure that that number goes up right there. He is working very hard on making the technicals behind Dogecoin better with the Dogecoin devs. He is working very hard on a lot of these big projects that are happening. And it's exciting to see one of the smartest minds in the world and Elon Musk doing all of that for Dogecoin. And there's no question that all the things he's doing are going to make it significantly more successful. That's just the way it is. Right now, we're also seeing Elon Musk dominating Jeff Bezos in the space race. And by the way, you guys may notice a different background here. Right now, I'm at my girlfriend's house. So yes, we moved into a studio. Then or her, my girlfriend's parents house, we moved into a studio, then now we're moving all around and going different places. So it's a lot, a lot to deal with, but we're, we're still making it work. Elon Musk dominating the space race. Jeff Bezos trying to fight back. That's one of the articles And this one. Amazon goes after Elon Musk, SpaceX in battle for space dominance. They're doing everything they can to stop the Musk. Why? Because he's significantly better when it comes to his rockets. And that's good for us that he's significantly better because he does have some big plans with that and Dogecoin as well. And we've talked about that some, but take a look at this. That's a picture of the rocket and you can see right here a size comparison. There's a little tiny human in comparison to that massive rocket. I mean, have you ever seen anything like that before? It's an absolute monster, a behemoth of metal and somehow this thing is supposed to fly. It doesn't really physically make a lot of sense and yet somehow it works as you just see look at that all these engines are so unbelievably complex and that many of them manufacturing that extremely difficult and so to have someone who's capable of doing that in our corner is, is pretty remarkable. He's also been, Elon's been liking multiple tweets from Dogecoin people. He's still actively participating in the community. And this right here as well shows some of these smaller tiles on the rocket. So I'm excited not only about Dogecoin, but also about what Elon Musk is doing with his rockets and things like that. As we also see El Salvador, there's opposition to some degree for this Bitcoin rollout. Now, the truth is most of it is very positive. Most people are like, finally, we have something better. By the way, if you have not pressed like, take a second to go down there, smash your like button. I mean, I mean, come on, look at this. We have a setup here with wood in the background. We have a, my, my, my girlfriend's entire family watching right now. So for, for the fam, go ahead and press the like button. Let's get that out to more people. The more we do that, the more we help. I know when, when in times like this, it's hard to get the energy up for Dogecoin, but we can play a role in that. We absolutely can. And that's exactly what we should do. But El Salvador's Bitcoin detractors, opposition groups gather as crypto law rolls out. There's an illustration there. Very, very small amount of opposition, but there is, of course, some, and that's going to, of course, play a role. But there's one thing I do want to call out real quick, because we have seen some of this going in the exact opposite direction of what cryptocurrency is supposed to stand for. Take a look at this. Mario Gomez, he actually is someone who vehemently, vehemently disagrees with Bitcoin becoming a legal currency there. He doesn't want it to happen. He thinks it's bad. He's very upset about this. He's been protesting. And the government over there in El Salvador arrested him and they put him behind bars. They only held him for a few hours 
but you should not arrest someone for protesting against cryptocurrency. That doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, that's the exact opposite of what it stands for. Like I said, we really should be allowing people to have their voice. If you disagree with it, you can do that. And that's completely fine. Cryptocurrency stands for freedom. It stands for decentralization. In the case of Dogecoin, our favorite crypto, it also stands for fun and needs to continue standing for that. So even though he was protesting against something that we agree with, we still should be giving him the same respect that we would give anyone else who is protesting anything they don't like because freedom is better than not having freedom. Dogex, by the way, is now to 4942. So we're over the, the halfway hump, which means these are going to start going way faster now. We have had one Dogex NFT that just sold for 35,000, which actually I think it, it should have been higher and it's going to be higher most likely soon. But someone decided to sell it one day after minting one of the rare Sarge Doges. There's only 10 of the top rare ones. He minted one of them, then he sold it one day later after buying for around 300, which is 0 0.080. He sold it for $35,000. Then that's not all. There's also a lot of asteroid doges that are still left. Approximately half are still on the board that anyone can mint right now just with one click of a button. And those asteroid doges, the first one that just sold went for around $7,000 after being minted for the same price of 300. So there's big opportunities here to make a lot of money from these. And keep in mind, do not put too much in. It is difficult. There is a small chance of you actually getting one of the rare ones, but there's still a chance. And even if you don't get a rare one, or at least a top rare one, all of them have an extremely lot of rare characteristics. Why? Because this is the most complex NFT project in the history of NFTs, nothing even close to it. So even the Earth Doges, which I, I still think are awesome, even those still have a lot of rare traits and a lot of rare qualities and a lot of value from that. So do not be upset if you get an Earth Doge. As long as you get one you like, then that's of course the goal there. If you think it's cute, if you think it's fun, then someone else probably will too. And if you want to sell it, you're capable of doing that and you can make some money. We also have some big plans with the metaverse. So even the Earth Doges, after these plans go through, are going to be most likely worth a lot more than they are currently right now, which is still pretty dang good. As we're also seeing this, Ethereum is has lost over 6,500 nodes in the last two weeks. One of the reasons we are seeing Gas fees so unbelievably high when it comes to that. Also, we have a chat here. What is the screen in the back? Is it Doge XMT? Yes. So we have Doge XMT in the back and also the Doge coin price, which my girlfriend's brother kindly set up for us. This is actually his gaming setup that we're streaming from right now since we're out of the studio. But you know, it will make it work. It works. It works just fine. It works just fine. I actually have my travel setup of the studio here. here here's the, the current cryptocurrency rankings. Bitcoin right there at number one. Ethereum number two. Cardano. Tether. Binance. Binance being passed again 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 by other cryptos than Solana doing extremely well up 23% in the last seven days 319% in the last 30 days 517 in the last 60 days 60 and then we look at this 357 9506 a ton a ton of growth from Solana there passing a lot of these other cryptos but Dogecoin currently undervalued in terms of market cap because it should be up higher it, right now, Dogecoin deserves to be in the top three based on the technicals and the energy and the name recognition, and that's going to happen. The correction will happen. It's going to be there, and Elon Musk playing a big role in that, even as, like I said in my last video, we do have some people trying to crash it. The question is, will it be successful or not? And I think the answer is not, but be careful, be warned, because they are coming, and they will do everything in their power. What do you call the Dogex with the disco background? That is that is on Earth, it's an Earth Doge, and so that's a, a Disco Doge, I think is the best way to call it. The Disco Doge. Does Bitcoin's recent flash crash mean Warren Buffett is right to hate crypto? We're seeing articles like that, more negative articles like that coming out from the media. We're gonna continue seeing that because the media and the banks in cahoots. We've talked about that multiple times because it is simply true. If you have not pressed like yet, come on, what are you doing? You're lying down, you're sitting up, Everyone, if we all do that, instantly we will have more people coming into live. It doesn't even take more than a couple of seconds. So let's see if we can get the number up past 300 here. Undoubtedly, Bitcoin flash crash, crypto bulls, they say it's the greatest time to invest now from the crash. And there's also that side of it. So we're not going to see only negative articles. There's going to be positive ones too. And I think that's obviously what we want to be seeing. But El Salvador buys the dip as Bitcoin log goes live. 101 Bored Apes NFT just sold for 24 million. Ukraine passes crypto legislation, holders digest September 5th. And uh, with all of this, there's no question that we're going to see a lot more energy coming into the NFT space. And through that, it's going to help Ethereum, it's going to help Solana. And those are two that I think, if you're gonna be looking at another crypto to invest in besides Dogecoin, both of those have big advantages right now moving forward. I do not think that Ethereum is as good as some other cryptos, 
but it's not bad. And when I say other cryptos, I'm of course referring to ones like XRP. I think XRP and Dogecoin currently in the top 10 are the two most underrated with Solana having this big spike that it just had. Most likely it's risky. I mean, you don't know because it does have a lot of use case. There's no way to predict it 100%, but it is of course risky. Yeah, no, that's definitely true. Uh, so, some of these comments are great. Some of these comments are great, but keep in mind too, we've been hating on safe moon a, a little bit. Don't, don't take it too seriously. If you have some safe moon in your bag, you know what? It's up to you, but it has absolutely fallen off a cliff what we've seen with it the devs they're running all over the place they can't get their things straight everyone should have known this when they had that really dysfunctional meeting at first that was over the live everyone should have known this when they were paying influencers and not disclosing it and so now to see this happening obviously if you have some and you lost money yes i i do feel to some degree bad that that happened but at the same time come on what were you thinking put it into safe moon you could you could have put that into dogecoin instead and yes you would still be down depending on when you put it in but not nearly as much and also the future of dogecoin actually has a real really 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 bright side the future of safe moon well not so bright it's it's the the dark side of the moon i guess you could say thoughts on avax you know what let me go ahead and look that up real quick avax and we will see what the price of that is doing right now avax crypto who knows maybe it's the most the most hidden gem of all let's go and check it out coin market cap avalanche oh avalanche we've actually talked about this some on the patreon um I, I should i should recognize it but sometimes you recognize the name but then you don't actually recognize the letters there that that symbolize it 55.87 up eight percent today so some nice action there and we're going to be continuing to talk about these the patreon has been unbelievably successful we have had some huge picks I, right now i am still looking and the next time i see a big opportunity i'm going to of course talk about it we have not had an opportunity in a few weeks here i think another one should be not too long from now i did also talk some about the dojo the patreon if you're on there i'm gonna give you a lot of extra if you have a question you know that's really where a lot of the, the energy is going right now but anyway i'm at was this is fast and i will see you in the next video